Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm on Finseeker's brand new 245 walk around. This is their first walk around in this story brand. We really like it. It's got a large fishing cockpit, a spacious, comfortable cabin that's both air conditioned and heated, and plenty of amenities on board. It's going to be an ideal boat for fishing the Great Lakes for salmon or going off the northeast for offshore species. I like it for the Gulf of Mexico as well, and you're going to like it too, so step on aboard and I'll walk you right through it. Now one of the nicest things about the walk around style of fishing boat is the enclosed cockpit. You've got a wrap around windshield, a large helm station, we've got dual nine inch displays here, and we've got our engines wired right through them. So there's no round gauges on here, it's all electronic, and you can customize the view to show yourself what you want to know about what your engine's doing. You've got sonar and you've got chart plotting on board and a stereo right here. Now these are toggle switches that are lighted when they come on, so when you leave the boat, you know, if you got a lighted one, you better turn something off. Now the cabin down below has a reversing air conditioning heater. It runs on 120 volts. You got shore power right here on the starboard side of the cabin, and that's how you run it. It's gonna make it really comfortable for overnighting at the dock. Now you've also got a portable head, and you've got a freshwater sink and a microwave everything you need to have a nice comfortable evening on the water. Now as you leave the cabin below you'll appreciate the extra large entryway. It brings you face to face with the passenger bucket seat. It's got a large thickly padded seat cushion, a flip up bolster, and armrests that flip away that are also heavily padded. Down below there's a footrest that makes it very comfortable to sit and ride for long distances or flip it up and you can ride standing up. On the captain's side, the footrest is built into the helm. You've got the same thick bolsters and flip-up armrests for a comfortable ride. Now, the purpose of the walk-around design is to give you this ability to come forward, either with a rod in your hand or to come and handle the anchor. Now, you've got a seat up here, non-skid decking for secure footing, and a safety rail all the way around. I like that setup. It's really convenient for serious fishing. Now when you step back in the fishing cockpit, you'll notice there's two flip down seats that give you plenty of comfortable seating for the ride out to the fishing grounds. I also like the fact that you got a 26 gallon live well here that's got fill, recirculate, and it'll keep your bait alive for a long time. The acrylic lid makes it easy to keep an eye on them without lifting the lid. On the starboard side, you've got a couple of under gunnel rod holders. In the gunnels, you've got two rod holders and there's two shotgun rod holders here on the transom. You've got four rocket launchers in the hard top and the thing I like about them, you can reach them standing flat on the deck. While we're talking about the rocket launchers, it's a great time to talk about the hard top supporting them. You've got super heavy duty stanchions and durable construction of the hard top itself. You can see it's a half an inch thick or more all the way around the rim. Now when you're fishing, you can tuck these seats away and you've got plenty of room to fight the fish. In the deck are two large fish boxes and they're macerated to pump overboard. The switches are right here in front of them so they're easy to access. When you walk through, you've got a four-step boarding ladder that you can open from inside the boat or outside for safety. You've got two dry storage compartments behind the seats and a tackle storage compartment right underneath the passenger seat. Now the 245 walk around has excellent sea keeping capabilities. It's got a 20 degree dead rise hull. That gives you wave cleaving capabilities, but it's just the right amount of dead rise to give you stability when you're trolling or at rest. It runs beautifully on a 300 horsepower Mercury and I think that's the setup you want if you want to go fishing in a Finseeker 245 walk around. I'm Randy Vance.